I come to you uh, today, this morning here in the States, um, just afternoon, uh, back in, in, in the UK. And um, we live in unprecedented and um, incredible times for everyone. And obviously, football in and of itself needs to be put in the background and in context. Um, obviously, we can't ignore it because it's an important part of our lives and business. But for now, as a club, um, it's really important for us to feel like we're um, part of the community, uh, which we have been for the, the over 100 years that we've been in existence. Um, I got back on late on Saturday and um, uh, to the States and, um, and uh, our, our youngest daughter, who is um, uh, a nurse, um, has confined myself and Fiona, my wife, to isolation here at home as we really have no idea what is ahead of us and um, my wife like um, other people um, has a, a, a weakened immune system so it's really important uh, for us to, to isolate. With that in mind and thinking about back home and uh, the city we all love, our hometown of Aberdeen and the involvement of the football club, uh, mental health is a huge issue as we know in Scotland, how people feel. And as we are about to embark, um, from my perspective, personally speaking, on perhaps a number of months of isolation, then people, many people, not just the elderly, but families and otherwise, are gonna be home on their own. And um, we do have the, the benefit of this medium, such as me taking a selfie here, and of social media, etc to be able to be in contact with each other. The club wants to be at the heart of this, being a vehicle, whether it's players, uh, management team, um, or staff, team members at, um, at the club, um, and our community trust um, as well. Um, it's uh, really important for us to feel like we're offering something to the community. So today's announcement about our involvement proactively with our own folk, um, is clearly important to us, it's important to the city. Um, I just know personally that um, many of us, particularly uh, men, um, we like to solve things on our own. Um, we don't like to bother people. And that's the worst thing anybody can do is to self-isolate and keep the problems to themselves. So really, this is just the first of a number of announcements from myself and others at the club uh, and at the Community Trust who really are at the heart of our community out there um, about the support that we want to, to bring to uh, the community. So uh, my message really is from a personal standpoint is that take this seriously. Um, we will get through this, but we need to take it seriously. It's really clear from the medical experts that if we wanna contain this in a shorter period of time, that isolation is critical. And obviously, um, for us to be able to support the emergency services and the NHS as best we can at this time. So I'm just going to sign off for just now, but I want to just uh, wish you um, uh, the, the best from a health perspective um, and take care of yourself and your family and your loved ones. Standing free here in Atlanta. Take care.